Well, this is from Japan, made by Harmony Asada, and it's absolutely exquisite. Let's see if I can get in and you see some of the details. And this is by Janet Quinn, no, Twin from the UK. It's so great is how diverse everything is here. Just look at those patches of color. And not only, oh wait, I thought it was tied and machine quilt. Look at the quilting on this. Ooh, nice. This is from Inga Mardell and Steen Pooches, I think, from France. Oh my gosh, I love this. Look at the ladybugs. Let's see how they're made. I can't tell. I think they're applique. So I'm looking at this quilt trying to figure out whose it is because there isn't any signage. It's the back of a quilt. Let's go we see. Take both sides of that one. I know, we gotta go see what the front is like. Oh my goodness. This is by Amico. Hoada Loeb from New York. So this is, have you, have you ladies seen the back of this? Uh -uh. Wait till you go see the back. This is by Elaine Plogman from New York. No, Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm sorry, Elaine. Yeah, I do too. This is by, um, Turner Canberra from Australia. Wow, there really are great things going around the world when it comes to quilting. And then next to it, this is from North Ireland. It's called Blue Moon, and it's by C.O. Antrim. Actually, no, I'm sorry. It's by Jane Lloyd. Jane Lloyd. And I realize now I got the name wrong next to me on the other one, so let me go back to that. I gotta learn how to read these things. This is by Diane Firth. Okay, sorry Diane, if you remember. This is by Beth Miller from Australia. The Bungle Bungles. Man, the quilts are something else. 